today is gonna be a really, really sad day. Oh, come on. You're already here? It's not that I don't like the cows. I love having the cows. I just wish they didn't step on everything. I watched one of them jump over our generator the other day and I had a heart attack. Hey, don't step on my romaine, all right? There's all this grass down there for you. Just don't step on my plants. What happened? <laughs> the, the pressure in the key in the, in the closet um, just broke a pipe. Oh and, uh, no, Arturo. Since we were gone, you know, this, this happened. Well, the sad news is, never mind the flood that's going on right now, but it's looking like Buckle Tip might need to shut their doors for now. All right. They've already shut their doors, they haven't been able to open, and that's part of the problem. It's just really sad seeing one of our good, good friends' uh, businesses maybe have to uh, relocate. They're having more problems with the flood, so I've helped them as much as I can, but now I need to go back. I need to go back into quarantine. I only have two hours, and by the time I get back up to the land, that's gonna be it. You wanna go see the chickies? They didn't like the opening. What do you think, Lola? Are they gonna like your new shirt? <laughs> you think the chickies gonna like, come on, let's see. Come on, baby. You guys see Lola's new shirt? She had a collar. It's huge, it's too, <laughs> it's too big for it. So these chickens have been hard at work. You'll see what the grass looks like underneath here. You ready? One, two, three. Move it over to you. Oh. Look at how fertile all this is gonna be. So we need to wait a little bit. Usually, it's six months, you wanna let this compost. But I think we can do it faster. There's so much water, and there's so much- Drainage. Drainage, there's so much fungus that, and also I'm, I'm just pretty impatient, so. <laughs> We're probably gonna plant here sooner than six months, maybe like three. So normally we would, we would be keeping this for ourselves, but our fridge is overloaded right now. So the chickies are pretty much getting a gourmet salad for breakfast. You feed the animals, like, so well. <laughs> Look at this, Kaylee. More blackberries, one for you, one for me. Dude, that literally grew like overnight. Wow, they're starting to taste more flavorful. Gotta keep feeding the compost pile. Look at these cow prints over here. Here's one, here's one. They stepped right on the romaine. You can see it was right there and I already fixed it. But oh, they're, this one's starting to come up good too. Here's another one that's just like, oh man, they're just destroying our garden. <laughs> that's why we're building a greenhouse, baby. I mean, we, we could have fenced this in, but we had no access to get any fencing. No. So it was like, whatever. Let's just go for it. We want, we want to make a salad today? I don't know if those are big enough. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> So these are gonna be our seedling tables and these are gonna go in between the triangles. You see all these crazy cuts that we had to make. So we're in United States Culture Lessons 101 with Rodrigo and we're showing him what we think are like the baselines of American music. 100%. So we're starting with Dave Matthews. Yeah, he didn't even know who Dave Matthews was. If any of you guys from the United States, you know that's like the soundtrack to any summer. And summer's just getting started. Summer's just getting started, baby. So welcome to Dave Matthews Ants Marching. I think this is a good introduction to every anyone. Sorry guys, I'm just a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> Having Rodrigo here is such a big help. Not only because he's a really good worker, but also because he can speak fluent Spanish. He's, he's from here. So we have a really, really difficult time understanding our neighbor over here who has these cattle. But Rodrigo just talked to this farmer over here and he's saying that there's a secret, secret hidden water source down here. There's a, a spring, and he said if we go and start digging, that we'll start digging up water. And you guys know that we don't have any water up here. So if we come down here and find water, it's gonna be a whole game changer for the rest of the time that we live here. I feel like we're on like a treasure hunt. <laughs> now we're. So, okay. 
it could start here, but we need to take a look around. Or did, did he give you any like clues? He just told me that around here in this area. So we just start digging around and hopefully find water? Yeah, probably, but we will see, we will see them. Oh my god! Oh! Look at that little baby bird. Yeah, she is there. That's like, looks like it's a couple days old. I just don't see. Where? 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 Right there. Where? You see it? Where? Right there. Is it on the tree? You see it on the ground? No. It's going really slow. Oh, no, 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 no. So what if she... I found it. Yeah. We have it, dude. This is a spring. Yeah, it's here. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god. It's here, it's here, bro. It... Woohoo. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at this, you guys. It goes, there's an underground river in here. Lola just ran in. Yeah, Lola just ran in there. Lola, get out of there. Come on. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like we found treasure. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a legit running river that we have on our property that we didn't even know about. So I just got back from town from doing a grocery run and some other little errands. And I actually picked up some lunch for the three of us. But they're nowhere to be found, so I'm assuming they're somewhere in the abyss of the jungle down there doing some mischievous stuff in the woods. So, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna try to get their attention by giving them a little, little digi call. Oh, we'll see if that works. Oh, it worked! <laughs> he just whistled back. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who it is. Two mischievous boys crawling out of the, the jungle. We were just clearing out a spot for Rodrigo's house. <laughs> we went looking for the snake. You did? Yeah. Did you find it? No. So, I have... Three surprises for you. Oh boy. Close your eyes. Surprise number one. Mushrooms. Surprise number two. Close your eyes. Is this cinnamon raisin bread or sourdough? No. That's no ordinary bread, I'll tell you that. What kind of bread is it? You don't have any of the guesses? Does it have mushrooms in it? No mushrooms. It's pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> Bread. <laughs> Top three types of bread of all time. What do you got? Well, you know, it really all depends on how I'm feeling. Like some days I'm feeling like a little sweet, a little tangy, you know, kind of situation going on. Like a little ooh. Like a little ooh. <laughs> but then like other days I'm feeling like a like a pumpernickel, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had pumpernickel bread in my life. Okay, ready? Yeah. Is that chicken? Organic! Whole Foods is open again. We haven't had chicken in how long? I know! I know! Oh man. So our one of our favorite stores in town has been closed for the last like month. And they just opened up last week and it's the only place where we can source organic meat around here. So we so. basically have been eating vegetarian for a long time. Yeah. Because we don't... This is kind of the only kind of meat we eat. I'm so excited to have some meat. I've been telling Kay, I'm like, dude, I feel like I need... Yeah, I, I do need too. Meat. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's make some, some chicken curry with that tonight. Hey. I gotta tell you something. What? I just rented out like 80% of our land. What? I just rented out like 80% of our land. To the cows? Yeah. <gasps> In exchange for meat. Cow meat. Cow meat. Beef. These cows? Yeah. Really? Grass fed. They, they lived good lives. I, I agree. I completely agree. Like we know the free I mean, we're, range, we're grass vegans. fed. For any of you guys wondering, we're, we are not vegans. <laughs> They're loved. They are great owners. 
That's that's pretty cool, actually. So he's gonna start working on the fence tomorrow. What are you about to do here, Jordan? You know what they call this? What? You know what they call this, Lola? Killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> I think we might have left some tools out. I'm kind of freaking out, and I have to shower, so I'm gonna do it while I walk down to go check the tools. <laughs> Run, oh, it's freezing! Forest, it's freezing! Go quick! Go quick! <laughs> Embracing what Mother Nature has to offer us today. <laughs> what are you doing in the bed? No bed! Come on, no bed! No bed! Get down! Come on! You can see the the barbed wire fence over here. Is doing a great job drying our clothes for us, <laughs> especially in all this rain. <laughs> yeah. All right, so honest review of showers after I don't know what has it been 45 days. Yeah. What do you think? I have really, truly been embracing the cold, cold water showers. I feel like <sighs> invigorated after. It feels good. I was really tired when I was just laying there, and now I feel great. So what are you gonna do with all this energy now? <sighs> you want to dance? <laughs> You have to follow my lead. Stop just doing your own thing. I've always wanted to go like this. We're free. We're free. You guys, we got the news. They're lifting quarantine. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited we are. It's not until Monday, so it's still in a few days. We gotta ride this out. It's interesting. When they put us in quarantine, it was just like, oh, you're in quarantine now. Yeah. But when they let us out of quarantine, they give us a week's notice. It's like, oh, just so you know, now you have a week's notice, yeah. so you can prepare to come out of quarantine. <laughs> it's like it would have been nice if you just gave us a heads up so we I could know. have stocked up on some food. It's not full. It's not full freedom. We're still gonna have a um, a curfew of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m., which okay, it's better than nothing. Kaylee and I haven't been able to drive in the car together for like 75 days. Yeah. So I'm pumped to just get in the car. Put on some tunes. Yes! Jam out, drive around. Oh my god. We're just finishing up this night watching the final episode of The Last Dance. This is the last one? Final one? For like forever, forever. Yeah? No. Oh, you sad? A little bit. I've been loving it. I, I thought Kaylee was gonna hate this show. It's so good. Let me, it's so good. Let me just t turn the lights on because it's. I don't like it when it's all red. So check this out, you guys. If you look, we're watching The Last Dance on Netflix. And you might be like, how are you watching The Last Dance on Netflix? It's not on Netflix. Well, it is in Panama. So this is a really good time to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, which is Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN. A lot of you guys probably already know what a VPN is, but if you don't, they help keep your information safe by putting a middleman between you and anyone who's trying to get your information on your phone or your computer or your mm -hmm. tablet or anything like that. And there's a great travel hack. We've talked about this before, but when you when you use a VPN, you basically what you're doing is you're connecting to a server. And these servers are spread all across the world. Uh, Surfshark has 40 different countries, and they have a server in Panama. So what you do is you connect to the server in Panama, Netflix thinks you're in Panama, and they give you all the Netflix shows that are available in Panama. And this is the same thing with the United Kingdom, or with Canada, or Mexico, or anywhere else that they have a server. So if you're running out of shows to watch on Netflix or any other streaming service, what you can do is connect to other countries, and different shows are available which is freaking awesome. It's pretty amazing. So if you've been trying to watch The Last Dance but you missed it on ESPN, you could watch it right now. You could go onto Netflix, connect to the server in Panama, and you'll be able to watch it. And Surfshark is giving people who watch this channel 85% off and three extra months for free if you use the code in the description. So thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. We're gonna finish up the rest of this episode. I'm super excited to watch the end. And then we're going to bed. So we'll see you bright and early. We have a little bit of help today, which is really, really nice. Everything right now is growing so fast because it's the wet season. Look at this grass. Look at how deep this is. This all just happened. We cut all this and it's already all grown back. And a lot of the tribesmen of the local tribe, they're called Nobe. They're looking for work because a lot of them don't have work right now. Everything's closed down still. So this guy was walking by the road and asked if we, he could work for the day. So I asked him if he had a machete. He said yes. 
and he's gonna help us with cutting our grass. I would introduce you to him, but he seems a little shy. This guy's kicking our butt right now. He's kicking our butt? Yeah, when you and I worked a machete. Oh, I know. We would swing it like five times and we have to take a break. I know. This guy's been going at it for an hour. Yeah, he's crushing it. And he's already like, he's already done all that space over there. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you grow up with a machete in your hand. Yeah. And you and I grew up with Reese's Cups and video games. So, we finally painted the bottom of uh, the table white. We're getting really close to being all done with all these projects that we started over here. Getting materials is really, really hard still. So a lot of projects that are like 99% done, but we're getting there. So we've been really trying to wean the chickens off of their chicken feed and solely rely on bugs, on insects, um, our chicken scraps. But in the meantime, I had a big bag of organic non-GMO corn kernels for like popping corn. So I actually took the corn kernels and blended them in the blender with a little bit of um, water. And it actually works pretty well. So this is kind of what it looks like once it was all ground up. So there's still like some big kernels. Um, but it seems like they're really, really liking it. Uh, Look at this guy's almost cut everything. He's gonna do it in one day. Bro. Watch out, watch out. Hold on one second. It's really nice having people come and help. It's just been Kaylee, uh, Kaylee and I up here for almost three months now. Just doing all this stuff by ourselves. And having people that help is awesome. And also having people that have a better work ethic than Kaylee and I is also awesome. Because both of these guys are just such big helps. I always fall. You fell down? Always, bro. I didn't get it on camera. Do you think you could do it again? No, bro. No. Come on. <laughs> so it's officially time to begin work on the workshop. So we have to do a couple of things. We were just gonna put a shed on this originally. We built this platform to hold a shed, a small shed, but now this is gonna be having a lot more weight. So first, we need to put four more footers on this because it needs to be a lot stronger. Down there digging holes I'm using this very nifty contraption here a Craig jig to finish up my table put the boards on top super happy about it because we're not gonna be able to see the screws from the top of the table they're gonna be nice and hidden underneath whoever invented this is a freaking genius <laughs> here a very big truck coming up the road she don't usually hear often around here so usually what that means is this is our whole workshop on a truck <laughs> the delivery man. we've had a delivery of material since quarantine yeah it's like Christmas what do we got good girl Are you excited what are we gonna build for you next? What are we gonna build for you next? <laughs> Maybe like right, right, right here, right up. Yeah, perfect. What's going on? <laughs> There's nothing better than this. Getting a truckloads of materials. It's like honestly, it isn't that bad. Like although it was really tough getting materials for a while. I've never heard of being able to get delivery in the States from like Home Depot. For free. For free! It's a new Lola, bag. Lola, we got you another sand pit, It's baby. a new bag. <laughs> well, we just got everything delivered, except for cement. So I guess it's illegal to sell cement, 
and they want us, I, I don't know, I'm confused, but we're not gonna have cement today. I think we have to wait a day or two until we can buy it legally, which is gonna hold us up. So we dug the footers, we ground all the spots up for the, the posts, but no cement. So we, we kind of have to wait to put those footers in. Also, the guy that came to work today, Iberto, uh, he just left and he's gonna come back tomorrow. So he's gonna keep coming. He used to work on the coffee farm, but they just cut all, a lot of their, their staff down. They went down by like 25%. So he's coming to work for us for now, which is great, because we need help, and he has experience. But now, go ahead, bro, you can get in. We just got some news. We're going to check out the new buckle tip and morning movement location. Let's go see what it's all about. Yeah, bro. I'm make that. <laughs> All right, amigo. How this is it? it? Well, it's one of the options. Well, it used to be a doctor's office, so I guess you don't have fancy no, taste. No, it's Dr. Dr. Steve, Steve Wood. Wood. Yeah, see so if we can just see, show inside. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit of it, of it inside. It's, it's, it's this space right here. Everything. It's this space and this space right here, too. Oh, that looks like a kitchen, Arturo. Yes, it was a kitchen. You did a good job. Plus, it's on the main street. Plus, yeah. it has parking spaces. Ooh. So is there a shower in here? I don't know. I have no idea. Look, if, if, there, if there's a hot shower, then, then I'll pay the money right now. Because I haven't taken a hot shower for two months. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, bro. See, See you. Ya. Bye -bye. Well, I just checked out this place real quick. And I think it's going to be it. I think this might be Morning Movement Headquarters. And we told you that Arturo's thinking about um, just pit and pause on his shop or relocating. And it'd be a really good place for him to relocate. And that would be a good place to do all stuff morning movement out of here because doing it out of the bus and then doing it out of his house is just getting a little too crazy. You guys might be seeing us spending a lot of time here in the near future. Oh, it's my two girls. We're not calling it quits yet, are we? No, of course not. I know we've been working since 7 a.m., 6, 6 a.m.? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. We're tired. Look at Lola, Lola's already, Lola's already done. There's one more thing that I want to get done. Are you ready to go to work, sleepy bum? We gotta go get some work done, honey. You ready to go? So this needs to come down. as it's gonna get. Well, just like everything, we're a victim to the materials. So, couldn't finish. The greenhouse is 99% done, just like the deck, just like the bench, just, <laughs> well, the table's all done now. The table's done. But the man, stairs are done. The stairs are, well, no. We Almost, have, once we once we Just like done. everything. <laughs> Everything's so close to being finished. Look at these shelves. I'm so pumped about it. Yeah. We just don't have one there, 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 and there. So four more. And this will do two things. This is gonna put, we'll put our seedlings on here. So everything before we put it into the ground, mm -hmm. whether it goes inside or outside. And then this will also give us another point to secure the plastic down. Mm -hmm. So when we get the heavy winds, it's not gonna rip the plastic off. That's right. Come on, it might be a little too high for you, huh? All right, I'll pick you up, hold on. I love how everything we build, Lola has to try it out. So let me see, let me see this. <laughs> Thanks for building this for me. Look at her giving you love, dude. She like rubs her head against you. It's because she's wet. She's trying to dry herself <laughs> off. <laughs> wow. Cherry's coming down. It is coming down, baby. Remember those days when we used to have leaks in our bus? Up in Alaska. Can you imagine living here with leaks in our bus? <laughs> it's nice just coming in and know that we can be nice and dry. Make some nice curry. Lola's loving it. <laughs> Well, these last few days have solved so many issues for us. From not having water, to finding a spring, to being lifted from quarantine. Yeah. To getting our delivery of all our materials to start our next few projects. To getting our space for morning movement. To getting rain and filling our tank right now because we were running a little low. Yeah. 
so many things. So and then many getting things. a and then just our guy coming and wanting to cut, come and cut our grass. Like, yeah. After seeing that snake the other day, I was like, all right, we gotta keep Lola safe. <laughs> and, and ourselves. And, and we do that by cutting the grass because yeah. it gets all the snakes away by getting all the mice away. Right. So this is how we're gonna end this one. We're gonna dig into some curry. That's about it. That's about it.